How's it going? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you are new here, please hit subscribe. So you girls some love and support on this channel. A safe space for everyone, including no matter who you are. Love is always love. It's okay to be yourself, your beautiful, authentic self. No matter what anyone tells you. Because you're awesome and special in your own way, okay? Mwah. Be you, because you're awesome. So there's going to be a whole bunch of palettes to um, talk about and... Yeah, go through <laughs> part two, okay? I have done a video with this PT Queen Ganja Queen Ganja. Very um in the wild jungle type of vibe. Very tropical island. And I love how awesome this palette is. This should like should she should bring this palette back. I love it. I dip in this shade a lot and I hit pan a little bit just because that shimmer is stunning. I love a good purpley blue. I love purples and blues. Oh my gosh. This palette is just wow. Like, I just love it. It's very pretty. And even though it's very shimmer heavy, it's a great quality. And I think it should come back. Like, when she had new palettes, um, her old palettes, I had to hunt down all of her old palettes just because i wanted them and especially this one ugh, i love here we have from wicked sisters cosmetics two of these palettes you got the big large pan and the mini pan this is still available this is i think sold out but this is still available if i had to pick between two that i like better i would say this one even though i do like this one i really do love the quality of both of them but i feel like this is my favorite mostly because i um, know i do like this one um i don't know i feel like there's some repetitive shades in here or like similar um, or like you might get the same type of look. It's mostly a pinky brownie neutral very soft and it is for the Val and Valentine type of vibe Romantic, but also you get dark a dark look with that black shimmer if you wanted to add that to your look If you like this, I think they might um, bring it back They might bring this back this palette. I do like this palette overall. It's very nice and once in a while, I want some like a pinky brownish type of look if I wanted to. I feel like the shimmers are mostly the same. Like when I swatch them, it, it, it just looks the same to me. Um, except this is the lightest one there is. But this and that I feel like are the same. Like when I swatch it and on the eye, the way it performed, it just looked similar. And I wish you could just change it and put a lighter shade, a lighter white shimmer. Because I love white shimmers. We can't go wrong with the white shimmer. That's my critique with it. It's like... It's it's good. I like it. The quality is always good. This is, I would just change the colors a bit more. A little bit more. But I do love the mini one. The mini one is my favorite. And it's just... I love this one a lot more. I like how it has more depths in here. And the pinks. And it, have, it has a pop of gold. And it's like, it's like, a, like a brown. It's like a brown, but like a burgundy brown. You can pair it well with this and that shade. And I think this is a very fun, small little palette. I think alone, this is a great palette. Even though the big one's good too. If you want the big one, go ahead. If you're more interested in that one, it's more toned down. Versus this one, it's just like beautiful. And it's, one, it's my favorite one. If I had to pick between the big and the small, I'd pick the small one. But I, I wanted to get both because like I wanted to see, compare them. But I still like them both equally. I just like this one more. I think you can consider um, Luna Beauty an indie brand, right? from Manny Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Palette. Look how big this is. I keep the packaging just because it's so pretty. I mean, how can you not keep this gorgeous palette? With the clouds and this little stars. Lunar Beauty, I think you can consider this an indie brand. <laughs> so I'll just take out the packaging. And here it is. Oh, it just, it rises up. You can feel it. The rays pops out like so beautiful. You can feel that. Wow, it's such a pretty palette. Strawberry Dream. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this palette. But I had to do a video with this palette. I think it was during the summer when I did this. And I just love how pretty it is. So pretty. And the imprints of like the moon and the stars right here. The imprints. I try my best not to mess it up because it was so pretty. And you can use this as like this topper, this beautiful topper shade. Ugh, that and this. Yes. This one is blue diamond. Oh my god, look how stunning that is. And that one, lightning. Oh wow. Let me just let me swatch it, okay? So we have the lightning one. 
like a like a gold champagne and blue diamond. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Oh, like, look at that. Oh my god, yes. Love it, love it. <laughs> Strawberry Dream Palette, you are magnificent. Especially the pops of blue. That blue is so cute. I just had to pair these two together. And I don't know, but I really love Skyline and Cloudy. Like, these two, I love these two very light pink and a peach color, like a pinky peach. These two are, like, my most favorite mattes. And the size the blue and the pink. And love, like, orange to red color. Love them. This palette is so good. I, I don't know if it's available anymore. I'm not sure. But it is a pretty palette. I mean, come on. How can you not want this? And then, of course, we have the original Moonspell. Love this. Such a unique packaging with the slides like an actual book from a shelf. Moonspell. I think that's the design. I love this. I don't think I keep the packaging. Obviously, I'm keeping it. I mean, wow. Very reflective. And obviously, the inside is very reflective as well. I love it. I know it's hard to tell. Like, you can hard to see the colors. I just hold it like that. You can see how reflective this is. Purples and greens and neutrals and browns. Greens, teals, purples, browns, neutrals. I absolutely love this. There is a volume 2 of this Moonspell palette that I did not get. Um, I saw that it has like a, a fourth row. So this one has three rows. The, the, the volume 2 has a fourth row. And it's all like a berry red, I think. And I was planning to get the volume 2, but I don't know. I, I know that once it, this is gone, it's gone forever. It's not coming back. The volume 2, like, it's pretty, but I just like this one more. I feel like this is way better than the part 2, volume 2. Um, I don't know. Like, I just like this one. I, I'm, I'm okay with having the first one of Moonspell. Here's an old one. Beetlejuice inspired, never trust a living, peachy queen, old palette. Oh, my gosh. Here is <laughs> never trust a living. Wow, this palette is so cool, so vibrant, pigmented, and buildable, blendable. I created a very awesome look, and I tried my very best doing my makeup. I'm not a pro at doing makeup, but when I did fill this palette and created a look with it with the video I did for this palette, I felt proud of myself because I did something really cool, like stripes. I did something from like this, black and white, with the shimmers and the matte and an eyeliner and the glitters as well. It has pressed glitters in here. If this palette came back, this palette is really cool. I love it. I'm so happy I got this. And though it's old, I love this. Beetlejuice palette. <laughs> Never trust the living. <laughs> we have partner in crime makeup and murder palette. This is a very big palette that almost bit my hands. It's very long and big. It has big size circle pans and a mirror inside. Look at this palette. It's mostly shimmer heavy, but it's great, good quality, very pigmented, and I did get lots of fallout with this palette, but it's still really good. Amazing quality from Makeup and Murder, and I do have the like little poison pigments from Makeup and Murder as well. This is Partner in Crime, a Valentine theme eyeshadow palette, and look how awesome this is. And this is a matte that has lots of silvery glitters in it. When I swatch it, look how beautiful that is. A black, and it's a very pigmented black. Even though it has some glitter in it, it don't really show, but that's okay. I don't mind. Wow, look at this. <laughs> And they have imprints in it, the heart, handcuffs, and skulls. Even though you can barely see it because I have played with this palette like a few times by myself and with the video I did with this palette. This is Partner in Crime. Look at that. The heart shape right there with the hands being handcuffed. <laughs> I have these from Makeup and Murder. Poison Neon Pigments. Cruelty Free and Vegan. And they're hella pigmented. Just open from the top and you can see these little, little like bottles in here. Look at that. That's so cool and so adorable. They're, they're just super pigmented. They're just so you open it very just very slowly so you don't want to like spill everything out because it will be making a mess everywhere. So you be very careful opening the um the cork. And you can use a brush and just like touch that part and just put it in your eyes. You don't have to dip in here all the way because just slowly open it. And enough of that pigment you can put on your eye. It's just amazing how pigmented this is. You just put it really tight so that way it won't spill everywhere. And I got the bright neon. They have the pastels as well. I used this. It's so much fun to play with this. If you want, you can make this into a liquid and do like a, a liquid like liner eye look, whatever you want. 
This is really, really cool. I love this. I had to get this. Neon bright, so pigmented and great quality. All these are great quality. Some are better than others, but I feel like this is just awesome. I love that I get to play with this. And how makeup and murder, like, evidence. Like, look how fun that is. The detail and the packaging is really cool. How was me a small indie brand? J Sub Cosmetics. This is the makeup therapy palette. It's very big, like a like a book. Basically, it's a book, but not just any book. It's an eyeshadow palette book. The makeup therapy palette. You know, twenty shades pressed pigment palette. J Sub Cosmetics. The makeup therapy palette was designed to promote self care and enhance wellness through the art of beauty. Makeup allows you to express yourself through your face, canvas therapeutically to help overcome insecurities fears and worries give yourself permission to put you first that no matter the age gender or race ethnicity etc that beauty is defined by the gorgeous you i think it's jonica i'm so sorry if i'm saying it wrong um does have the ingredients in the back as well it is cruelty free and vegan a lot of these are cruelty free and vegan Indie brand. This is a small indie brand. I got this palette. Also got a free like brush. I did. I look with this palette um, in my old videos. I think a year ago when I got it. And I think this brand deserves the hype. It does needs the hype that it deserves. This palette is stunning. It has a mirror inside. And the inside it says beauty is defined by the gorgeous you. So that's like what it says right there. And you just fold it back and voila, it's like a rainbow, you know, <laughs> a basic rainbow palette. But I feel like it's more than that since it's like a um, therapeutic. And makeup is in a way like therapeutic because you can create with it different colors. When you feel depressed or sad, you can create whatever like you want. It's like art. Makeup is like art. And you can be an artist and make up your own rules with makeup. If you mess up with makeup, that's okay because no one's perfect. And this palette is stunning. You have strong, gorgeous, fearless, worthy, confident, beautiful, conquer, con or conqueror, sorry, resilient, survivor, um, courageous, vibrant, deserving, warrior, brave, ambitious, determined, believer, radiant, strong, and free. If you want this palette, which I believe you should get, I think, if you could get any rainbow palette, which are awesome, I think this should be in your collection. This Rainbow palette deserves to be, like, uh, admired, okay? To be played with, these shades. Look at that. Beautiful. You can create neutrals. Obviously, colorful looks. It's very vibrant, very pigmented. And I have created, like, a like a rainbow look with this palette. Um, and also, like, trying to make, like, like a tie-dye type of look. I try my best. And I might recreate that look or do something different. A more better colorful eye look than the first one I did. I feel like as uh, doing makeup, I've gotten better with doing makeup. This is J Self Cosmetics. Here we have from an indie brand called Sola Look. This is Dirty Dancing inspired. It's a very thick, like she is thick, very thick palette. This is Dirty Dancing, First Dance, First Love, The Time of Your Life. This is Collector's Edition, so limited edition palette. Uh, look at that. It's even though it's very uh, thick heavy. <laughs> you can barely hold it for one hand, only for a little while, but then you get hands to get tired of holding it. <laughs> and it says Forever Baby Palette. So I slide it off. And it's sideways like this. Look at that. I love this old 90s Dirty Dancing movie. I love it so much. I'm a, I'm a really good, I am a fan of Dirty Dancing. And look at the back of it. Ah. Just love it. Oh, so cute. It has a small little mirror in the corner. And that is baby right here sitting down. And yeah, here are the shades. It does came it did came with a gloss in here, but I used it. Here are all the shades. Um I feel like this yellow is not that pigmented, but it can be buildable. Um it's mostly like chalky, but everything else is Really good quality, really good. Um, I feel like the shadows can be, um, how you say, 
it can be better, you know. It is a good palette. I feel like it could be better, but I do like it. I feel like this shade right here, the very light, soft baby pink, can be better. But it is like a topper shade, so it don't show too much. But you can put it in the inner corner. If you are a fan of Dirty Dancing, I feel like if you ever had this or heard of it, I've heard of um, Solo Look. This palette is really good, and even though it's not amazing quality, I still like it. I still used it, and I'm keeping it. I'm keeping this, the packaging, everything. I love Dirty Dancing, and I'm never letting it go. I love it so much, okay? Here we have another Hocus Pocus palette-inspired New Culture Wicked. <laughs> I like how they have the, the hair of the Hocus Pocus sisters, like kind of like wigs. The wigs. <laughs> That's funny. The back is like purple. And this is a very fun, colorful palette, as you can see. And it does have one press glitter. It's very dry because you know, it's, it's old. This it has one press glitter. It's dry, but it's old because it's dry. But I think you can use it with a glitter primer. Not available anymore. Most of these palettes are not available anymore. Sorry, they're you know they're not available. But you can see how really fun this is. It's smaller. A, um, I think 12 pan palette, I believe. A, a fun, small 12 pan palette, Hocus Pocus. Here is the OG, the formerly known Alien Cosmetic, which is now Unearthly Cosmetics. The OG palette, Serendipity. And I just, they do, they do have a new quality and a new version of this palette. Um, and I, I wouldn't mind getting the new version, but I just like this one just because it's like metallic gold and the packaging is so unique that I really ever have palettes like this. Like, I don't know what to call this, but it's very nice and I do love it. And I might get the new version of this, maybe. This is an older version where this, the pans are smaller and the circles, circle pans. And very great quality of this. There are no glitters in here. The older palette I do have from, um, Formerly known as Alien, which is now Earth, Unearthly Cosmetics now. They did have pressed glitters before, but they do not have any pressed glitters anymore, which I don't mind. I'm actually very glad that there are no more glitters, honestly. But the old palette did have glitter, which I do like. I don't mind glitter. But I love how very interesting, like, these colors are. The color story is, it's very different, unique, weird colors I love. How unearthly cosmetics have these really weird, interesting color stories that you don't see, or how you could just like, hmm, makes you think, like, hmm, what kind of look I can put together with this, you know what I mean? And this, it has no names on it, but then this, the center, oh my god, how mm, stunning. Yes, love that, so beautiful. I might get the new version of it, like, even though this, I'll definitely keep it because I love how, I love how pretty it is. And it's really it's the old one. I don't mind. I, I want to keep this, and I might get the new one probably. And the design is by Serendipity. Like it's just an artist, such a good artist. I do have a calendar from Serendipity, the artist um, calendar that she does all this amazing art, and this is her art, and I love it. Such a great palette, and the art is just amazing. Such a really cool palette and the cool art is just wow here is peachy queen we're all mad here from alice in wonderland inspired the mad hatter alice in wonderland i'll, I'll keep the packaging because why not i always keep the packaging if you don't get it by now like peachy queen it has a mirror inside pigmented shadows this is so cool like you have pots of oranges in here dark like purple and I think a mauve tone purple and like a dark midnight blue then you have a greens and you have these two shades right here these two are just stunning this one is madness oh that is so good love it so buttery soft I love when shades are very buttery soft especially the mattes when the mattes also buttery soft that's how you know it's really good when it's buttery soft like when it's buttery soft and if, 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 the, if a matte shadow is kind of like kind of dry, like it feels like it don't give up, get out, it does not give up enough pigment when it's, the matte is dry. If it's buttery soft and it works, if it swatches good, it works good on the eye. It's a good palette. This palette is so cool and unique and the colors are really cool. And I think it's inspired not just like 
Alice in Wonderland. I mean, come on. Alice in Wonderland. The Mad Hatter. But also, like, the, what you call it? The Treasure Cat? Treasure. Treasure Cat, I think. Yeah, the smiling cat and the green eyes. Here we have V.E. Cosmetics Book of Shadows Volume 2. And it is cruelty-free and vegan from the UK. And I love the design of the witch on the broom with the little bunny on there. So cute. This is the Grimoire. Book of Shadows Grimoire, Volume 2. It's very thick. She's thick, okay? <laughs> the mirror inside, and look at that. Oh. Pigmented. Cruelty-free, vegan, from the UK. And you have dark shades, and you have also bright reds, a bright green, and a blue and purple. Very dark blacks, and purples, and greens grays, brown, but I think this is such a cool, very cool palette. And I played with all this. I couldn't help myself. I felt like playing with every shimmer just because it's so pretty. Ugh. This is such, such a really cool palette. I love it. Ugh. Choose neither darkness nor light. Um, and invite, balance, create, harmony, love, unconditionally, always trust your intuition. Even though it's kind of heavy right now, but you can create really good looks with this. It is buildable and blendable, pigmented, and you may get fallout, but not a lot of fallout. And and it's you have the VE logo printed in the shadows right there, like all of them. Just super awesome quality. I love this. Here we have Curse Cosmetics X Mist Nightmare Palette, like inspired by what was it called? Krampus or Krampus, whatever you call him. I don't know. Krampus, Krampus. Um, this is inspired by that, basically. The dark, evil side of Christmas themed palette has pressed glitter, but that's okay because I don't mind because these pressed glitters are very, like, soft. Like, they're not that gritty feeling and they're really good. And I love how dark it is. A very dark theme <laughs> of a Christmas palette from Curse Cosmetics. Now, like, you can, like, see how holographic it is. It is holographic and really cool. From Wicked Sisters, inspired by Chucky, Child's Play movies, the franchise. I love Chucky. I love it. <laughs> I love the Chucky movies. This is Wanna Play? I should have palette. And I love how it has the Chucky little outfit he has, the doll outfit. <laughs> you can um, pair it with other palettes that have shimmers in it. Look at that. I love how they have this bright neon shades in here. And definitely pigmented. Um, and also buildable and blendable. It is a little bit, like, a little bit dirty a little bit. Because I have used it, like, a couple of times because I love it. Um, even though it's an all matte palette, I think it's very fun. It is a colorful, colorful palette. <laughs> you can pair it with some shimmers if you want or have an all matte look. I have made a look with this palette. Ah, I love Chucky. If you're a fan of Chucky, like, let me know what are your favorite movies from Scream, Chucky... Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> like, let me know. What are your favorite palettes that I do have? I do have a whole bunch of more. But I don't want to make this video way too long than it already is. So I will cut this short. So for now, this is part one of my indie brand makeup. I have a whole bunch of more left for you guys. Okay? Bye, guys. Until next time, take good care. Stay safe. I love you all. Mwah, my beautiful people. Stay strong and stay positive. Always be yourself no matter what anyone tells you, okay? Links down below for information. Follow, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and my TikTok. Links are down below to check it out. Until next time. Mwah. Bye, my beautiful people. Okay, take good care. Stay safe. Until next time. Bye, guys.